time graphs can be a very useful tool for physics and is often overlooked. They can help to calculate distance travelled when given information about velocity and or acceleration. Here we can draw the displacement velocity and acceleration versus time graphs for an object. If you have acceleration or velocity, you can integrate to find either velocity from acceleration or displacement by integrating velocity. Let's draw the first four seconds of each graph. The displacement initially has an increasing slope. This means that the velocity must increase, which is illustrated by the positive slope here. The positive slope for velocity means that not only is the acceleration constant, but it is also positive. From four to seven seconds, the displacement has a constant slope, which means the velocity must be constant. If there is a zero slope for velocity over time, there is zero acceleration. Let's look at displacement over 23 seconds. Initially, there is a decreasing slope. This means that we get a decreasing velocity and a negative acceleration. You will also notice that at the highest displacement point, there is a zero slope, which corresponds with an intersection here for zero velocity. The negative slope for displacement beyond 15 seconds means that there is a negative velocity and a negative velocity slope implies there is a negative acceleration. As the slope flattens, the velocity becomes less negative and you get a positive acceleration. When the object has a zero slope for displacement over time, this implies the object is at rest and both the velocity and acceleration over this time is also zero.